Yeah. Hi, everybody. It's Linda G. And I have Andre here. Hi, everybody. And I was just telling Andre, I'm, I had some sort of uh, attack, blood sugar attack when I was doing my members. I, they have a pick a card day. I messed up big time. I had it on public and it wasn't supposed to be public. And and I was starting to get diaphoresis and I was starting to get really dizzy. And my members are like, stop, stop, go take care of yourself. So I uh, checked my blood sugar. I took some protein and I'm feeling much better because I was worried about you. I kept telling them, but I've got Andre. I've got Andre. So, uh, <laughs> and I, and, you know, and I was doing a, I was doing a class before this and near the last quarter, I got, you know, one of those eye migraines where you start to see. And so I kept going. I didn't, my mind was totally sharp, but I was seeing, you know, these things. <laughs> so that it was, was weird. It was an adventure. My mind wasn't sharp. I was getting like, I even when I'm speaking, I can't, I feel like maybe I'm like a stroke, like I wasn't speaking right. Mm. So. Yeah, well, thank you. Oh, my people are great. I'm going to do another. Usually I, I do a pick a card every other Sunday, uh, every other Sunday from uh, Sterling, but I'm going to do it next Sunday after Sterling. I'll do a pick a card. Nice. So, um, well, we had our event this weekend and it was wonderful. And Kevin, I was just telling Andre, you know, he looks kind of small on the camera. So I thought when I meet him, I could pick him up and toss him, you know, but he, uh, he ended up being really tall. It was, he's lanky and he's tall and he's just as sweet as can be. And Mel was just as entertaining as can be. And the boys got to go out last night with Mark and check out, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge. They'd never seen that. They were thrilled. Nice. They, they really had a good time. And the people that came were so lovely, but I was just telling Andre, uh, some of you women's had a crush. Some of the women's had a crush on you, Andre. <laughs> okay, this I didn't like, think you were going to mention. I thought this was private gossip. <laughs> what's his, what, What's he like? Well, you know, you're popular. But that is what happens when people are on shows. They have crushes. You know? no, I'm not at all like this. I'm actually really ornery and difficult. You don't want to be around me. Yeah, he's a pain in the no. ass. That's what his wife yeah. told me anyway. So, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> I do the one thing for sure. I'll confess that uh, around the house, when I'm, you know, checking the news, I can get pretty vulgar around people like Trump because they really, you know, it's just it's so it's just awful. hard to yeah because it's and you know the thing is is that you help keep us peaceful because your interpretation matches it. It I'm mm. you were the one that told me back when I with I first started having you and you were on other shows too that you know wait for it. And you were right. Yeah, no, that's true. That there, I mean, thank the astrology. I and there, I I could thank Trump if I'm going to thank Trump for anything. I've learned a lot of astrology through watching him very carefully because I can see these, you know, sometimes more subtle, sometimes really obvious movements, and they really reflect the way the planets work. So you know, exactly, that's exactly. how it is. Yeah. So um, you were looking at Paxton. Everybody's asking about Paxton. Yeah, Paxton, you can see in his chart why he got in the jam that he got into. And you can't really tell 100% why he would be as, as you know, crooked and, and as, as uh, criminal as he is, you know, because there's not just smoke here, there's fire everywhere. I mean, think about it. If your own, the Republicans impeach you themselves, something's really got to be off. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that the House in Texas impeached them, but just like what happened with the federal case with Trump, then the Senate acquitted him, right? Yes. So, and the, the, what I saw in the astrology, the reason is that you see the pressures there, but he has, uh, it doesn't matter what time he's born, he has this progression that really protects him because it's Jupiter, you know, Jupiter, Venus, you know, the best, most protective planets are protecting him. And I noticed that Trump had this very same effect during most of his presidency because he had a really nice Venus progression that now has elapsed. It's moved forward, of course. That's why the situation's changed. But Paxton, it's kind of still there. He, it's not over. The pressures are not over. And someone told me that he could still be charged, 
criminally, I think, or something along those I, lines. I saw him going before a judge. I see criminal prosecution. And by the way, okay. his people are already saying they're going to get the ones that voted to have him impeach. It's coming. They're telling him just that ugly stuff that Trump does. Right. Well, we're then out, that, we're coming to get you. Yeah, because the, the, the thing is, the the pressure is not ending anytime soon, because whenever you're getting pressure from the planets that are way out there past Saturn, if they lock in, they're there for two to three years. So he's got there's a lot of a runway. It's the same with uh, the situation is not over yet for Lindsey Graham. He could still find himself in hot water, even though he thinks he's off scot free. It's not at all clear uh, in his case either, right? So right, Paxton could right. still go down. It's just that when it comes to Republicans bringing anyone to accountability for anything, you know, we're just not in that era. It's horrible. And, and what happens? They they acute this this sleaze bag, and then Trump immediately says, "Great, you know, isn't it amazing?" Because Trump always recognizes, you know, his brother criminals, and anytime yeah. a brother criminal gets off, he's happy too. You know. Well, so, even in Congress, you got Bolberg with some guy rubbing her tatas. <laughs> and her vaping and they kicked her out acting out do you know who i am and then uh you got uh uh george santos who's a big time criminal still in office yeah yeah and still they, they they can't remove them but you think the democrats they would have got rid of them lickety split true it's totally true it's totally true and they're there and the thing is they he can't afford the votes you know mccarthy so he can't really throw anybody out, but S Santos will go down, no question. Definitely. And McCarthy, she's going to lose too, by the way. Uh, Sa well, yeah, Sa well, Santos. I mean, think about in New York. I mean, I know in New York, they can switch parties sometimes in some districts, but when you've done what he's done, he's toast. And you know, and the thing is, he's been charged already. You know, people sometimes think, oh, you know, nothing happens to these people. Just, you know, pay attention to what's yeah, going on. The law doesn't move that fast. But once you're in the in the federal system and you're charged, it's a big problem. You're probably going to yeah. go out high 90s. Well, probably. There was something that was said. I wish I had saved it. That uh, Paxton's group gave millions of dollars towards something within Texas and the Republican Party. Millions. And everybody said, I said it too, uh-oh, he just bought his way, his ticket out. You mean bought it as far as- As uh, far as staying in office. As far as staying in office, yeah. yeah, no, that, it, I see criminal charges coming up on him. Well, there's room, there's definitely room for that. He's got some protection, but, and again, no, no birth time too, which would really help because the birth time really gives you this added layer that I see, for instance, in, uh, in Trump's chart is really precise because the time is- Right. Two minute, right. Yeah. Right. Matter so of fact, I was playing around with my own chart and trying to decipher, you know, the messages I got about what time it was based on what my father said and this and that. And I adjusted it by, uh, I've been playing for years around, there's a, a two minute range and I, I moved it back a minute and a half because it made sense based on some recent things. Yeah. And that's because when you're looking at fine events, the time is super accurate, right? And so if you have it, it adds something more, right? And in the case of Paxton, it's not known. You have to be born in California. California, everybody's time is, is part of the registry, and then it shows up, you know, in the- Oh, I know. Yeah, my time, I didn't know my time until my dad died. And mm. it was on a little birth card, baby girl, you know, on the date and the time, they wrote the time, but they did not write it on the birth certificate. Yeah, time is super important. That's that's what gives you the point that was rising, you know, in the eastern horizon at birth, and it it allows you to create the entire chart. But then it, you there are these movements that happen across many years, and they're based on the exact time. If you don't have that, you can't do them. You can still though. If people ask this question, they'll ask, "Can you read a chart without a time?" Yes, I can. If you know enough astrology, and particularly astrology best used is as a tool to channel guidance to the person based on where they are, what they're trying to do and what is coming up. And I know more than enough to do really good work without the time. But if I have the time, then I have extra information, right? Right. And I've known astrologers like I did never have my time that hmm. roughed it by looking at the chart and kind of asking, do you remember an event at this, yes. time, this time? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and I, I do that. I ask those questions even when I know the time because you still have to find out what the person was doing with what, or if they say to you, well, this thing happened in such and such a year, you calibrate to see what was going on and then you know what planet is doing that. And now you know right. what kind of energy that planet brings. So yeah. All um, right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, Blue Crystal said, hi, Linda and Andre. We hear about having moon sun signs and ascended or rising signs. What does this mean in regards to each of us? Well, that's a, you need a, you need an hour to answer the question if you wanted to cover all the angles, but th uh -huh. those are the, th th those are the most popular uh, things that you'll likely hear in that sun, moon, ascendant are three really critical points in someone's chart. So you have your sun, you have the sun degrees, the moon, and then the ascendant is what was rising. But then you have to look at what was ruling the ascendant, what part of the chart the sun is in, what part the moon is in. So you keep adding more and more layers. But those three, that's how you get a lot of books where you can look it up, you know, and see what kind of person you are. It's just that then you read it, you know, you read a paragraph and it says, sun, moon is like this. And then you walk away and forget about it. I mean, it's just that a paragraph, you're not going to get a whole lot of insight into your entire life unless you look at the entire chart, right? It's like, right. Going, to, it's like going to the doctor and he tells you about, the shape of your head, your elbow, and some other thing, and then you walk out, and okay, what do I know? Not much more. <laughs> I find it interesting how the moon can kind of determine your looks. It can, depending also where it is in the chart, but yeah, it can. The moon yeah. can affect, yeah, for sure. So um, uh, JS was asking about astrological, ast astrological overview of the prosecutors and judges. Have you taken a look-see at Fanny or Jack or... I have. I didn't Any recent look at them. updates. Yeah, well, you can see in uh, just off the top of my head right now, I don't recall what I saw in Chatkin other than that uh, she's fine. You know, her chart is not in the kind of okay. disaster thing that, you know, the, the, the person she's trying to put away, if, if we think she's trying to put away Trump, is in much worse shape. But as far as Jack Smith, uh, there, I remember making at least one video where I showed that he's got, first of all, he's very intense, as we all know, you know, because he's a triathlete and everything, and his chart shows that. So intense, competitive, the kind of person you don't want as a prosecutor because they're going to treat it like a sport. And a person like that is going to be looking around for ways to gain advantage on you. But worse for Trump is that he's got a cluster of planets in the worst possible place. Trump's chart is, is, is a full moon person, Pisces, yeah. Gemini. So if you park a lot of planets in Virgo or Pisces in the later degrees, they challenge the sun and moon. This is the last guy you want coming after you because those planets are in Virgo. And Virgo people, they're always looking for the detail. They're always looking for the information. And then they do the analysis and they'll they'll take you down because they'll have the list and, you know, sequentially make the case. So he's extremely dangerous to Trump, Jack Smith. You know, uh, that's mm -hmm. the bottom line. No so question. you saw that he asked the the, the judge to uh, shut him up. He can't be making threats. Yeah, I think no. that'll go through. I I psychically think it'll go through. Well, what about this though? What do you see for uh, the notion that you know, because Trump is doing this thing, which is totally false, but in the whole Republican Party, oh, they're taking away his First Amendment rights, you know, free speech, which is really like what really is happening is Trump is the example of someone yelling fire at a theater, which is against the law. If you do that, you'll get arrested and put in jail because you're creating a panic. And he's doing this by inciting violence, right? right? But I heard commentators say that it would be better if the judge, instead of making the gag order too tight, accelerated the trial, made it go faster to punish him, you know, because yeah. she already said and to him, if you keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. So in other words, it's not good for him. That's the thing, the, the no. situation. No. 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 And did you, Tommy Tupperville, did you ever get a look see at him? No, Back him I haven't looked. I, I I'm sorry, I, I, I skipped that one. I, I'm making up I'm making a file where I have already something like twelve or fifteen, but I'm adding them all on. And there's so many. I mean this this party just breeds you know, what do you what do you want to call them? Like criminals, idiots, they're brutal. This yeah. guy and this guy is doing the one thing that you should never be doing coming up to an election is he is it's women's issues. Don't touch that. Stay out of that. That's a third rail. You know, stopping the whole thing on that account. Really bad idea. You, you're going to see the ads. Just watch in 2024, flooding the zone with ads. 
uh, you know, because the Republicans apparently are all worried because they say, well, we're not the enemy of women. Yes, you are. What do you mean you're yes, not? You, are. you totally are. <laughs> you totally are. I mean, your actions say that, you know, reveal that. You can talk, but you're doing it. So that's what's happening. I heard everybody in his state. I don't remember where he's from, but everybody is really against what he's doing. Yeah, well, for good reason, because what he's yeah. doing is is both politically, politically bad. It's, you know, ethically bad. It's also dangerous because you start to, you know, uh, restrict the military. They're always going on about how the military, the military, they don't respect the military. I mean, these guys only, all of that is only real if they're in power. But as soon as it goes against them, then they attack anything. The FBI is no good. Police is no good. All of it is bad. It's all corrupt. It's all, why? Because they're charging people with real crimes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So... So, uh, but I, I will sit down and look at that very closely. I know he's in trouble. I know he's in big trouble, but I'm not quite sure when or where. Now, listen, someone, Pat wants to know, do we, I want to know if the murder of Jamal Khashoggi will ever be solved. And uh, will the names responsible be public? Well, it is solved. It is, yeah. It's we know been... exactly what happened. Yeah, I mean, that, that one was not just solved. I mean, it was the most brutal uh, situation. I mean, how that was, you know, swept under the rug because basically Trump said, well, they denied it. I mean, it's it's out yeah. there. And he helped his son keep it on the down low and his son helped give them, hand them this uh, reporter. Yeah, and the thing is, he's, you know, MBS, the, the, he ordered the, the hit. He's really protected. So the only thing is, what you can look out for is whenever there are major planetary changes like are coming up in the middle of the decade and as we go into the end of the decade, things can realign and then a person's apparent power can be really diminished and changed yeah. and things can change. That's why, remember we said in prior talks how Putin's situation in 2025 really gets worse than it is today. And he's planning on Trump winning the election, but that doesn't seem to me like Trump wins the election when your planets get worse. So that's an example where you're, you know, it's the sort of putting two and two together of astrology. You look at as many charts as possible to see if they correlate with a, with an outcome, right? So, right. Yeah. Uh, Patty said, uh, hey, Andre, so many tarot readers suggest like the new moon ritual to help manifest desires based on moon phases. From an astrological point of view, do you feel there's any benefit to things like this? Yes, and not just the new moon. That is, the new moon is the starting point of a cycle. It's just that, you see, people are under the impression that a chart is like this map of your fate, and that's it, it's written in stone. That's not true. The chart is like uh, all these planet angles, positions, possibilities, meaning the smarter you become, the more they often the kinder, the more connected, the more you are balanced in yourself, the better results you get. And so if you do astrology long enough, I, I, I certainly have, I look back in 10 year increments and my cycles have gotten a lot easier because I get out of my own way, right? Any time you spend in negativity is gonna come back to you as problems. It'll, you know, the world is always mirroring what you're carrying inside. So if you wanna manifest things, you wanna create things, Teach yourself to be grateful and always really positive. That's what works, yeah. which means relax, be at ease, and look on the upside. Anytime you spend on the other, you know, which is dangerous sometimes to spend too much time with politics because it's hard not to get outraged, right? But the idea is if you stay positive and keep believing something will happen, it will happen and it'll take time. You got to every day, every day, keep nurturing. You know, by the way, great example of this, I really recommend it the uh, Netflix series uh, called Arnold. It's about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah, he, you mentioned that before. He, yeah, he's got, you know, he really shows you the combination of working and visioning. He, he's always keeping his mind on where he's going and he tells you this. He says, the secret is just show up and work and keep your mind on where you're going. Don't worry about what's already happened. And by the way, he's had a rough time. He's had some really yeah. terrible health problems where he said he was totally down and out and he'd bring himself back with that attitude, right? focus okay. on feeling more healthy coming back and there he is he's still yeah. having an influence in his mid 70s but he had he was nearly dead a couple of times with no heart kidding. problems was it from, yeah. uh, 
Was it from the workout stuff, maybe the stuff he took to build up his body? No, no, genetic. He, he uh, has this heart condition that something about a valve oh, okay. that one of his parents died of and got passed on and he's had to deal with it. In fact, in 2018, he had his most recent uh, event, which, which really took him down. Wow. So, uh, that's an example, though, of that sense of he was, he's, you could say that Arnold is one of the uh, most powerful manifestors I've ever seen. He's had multiple, really? I'm gonna watch multiple it. areas. He, I mean, he, now he's done some, had some problems too, obviously, right? Nobody's right. perfect. Yeah, no he got person. the maid pregnant, yeah. Oh, no, I mean, absolutely, all kinds of things. But that's not the point. The point is that his ability to manifest something, to bring it into life is phenomenal. So hearing what he's saying, I think is very valuable. So, yeah. By the way, uh, full disclosure, this is not a plug for his thing because yeah. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. <laughs> this but is you just, were impressed by what yeah, he had to say. Impressed and because I also have his chart. His chart is known accurately. I, as I was watching, I was that's how often how I learn a lot of astrology. I'm looking at something and I'm seeing, oh yeah, that's where it was, whatever. And then I realized that the, the rules that work. So oh, wow. yeah. Highly recommended. Um uh Catherine said what do you think of the scary poll showing that it's a close race? I want to tell them, turn the TV off. It's a bunch of hogwash. Well, I mean, also, let's say to that, polls, polls traditionally, if you look at history, the polls the year before the election are notoriously inaccurate. I mean, Giuliani was going to be the next, uh, you know, was going to be the uh, nominee in, 2008, uh, and then it became it was McCain, and by the end, Giuliani was seen carrying a suitcase at an airport with nothing in it, and he was down at like 0.1 percent. So, and he was the leader at one point. Everybody thought it was going to be Giuliani against Hillary Clinton, then, and it turned out to be Obama against McCain, right? And so there's that. And secondly, there are these forces where, how you were telling me earlier, the frustration around hearing, hearing a. Uh, on MSNBC, oh, you know, Biden's getting old and this and that. And and that tends to lower a person's numbers, which by the way, in case people are wondering, why are the Republicans talking impeachment? They're doing the same thing they did with Benghazi. They know that if you keep news and bad news out there constantly around an election, you do lower a person's numbers, right? However, when you go into 2024, especially if it's Trump, Trump then it becomes this or that, right? Which do you want? And as soon as you're offered the the option, Trump or Biden, watch our Democrats start going with Biden. Right, and there's only three year difference between Trump and Yeah, exactly. And and you know, and this thing with Biden being cognitively impaired. Th that's the biggest joke I've ever seen. Meanwhile, yesterday I heard Trump saying that uh Obama and Biden, he was talking nonsense how it was gonna lead us into World War Two. World War Two just ha already happened. Yeah. He's the one that has cognitive problems. But meanwhile, it's Biden that has cognitive problems. Look at all the things that Biden has passed and look at all the times during this, his presidency, he's, he's totally outsmarted these Republicans and basically gotten his wish. If he's so cognitively impaired, how is he getting it done? The problem is that he does look older. He doesn't speak as clearly as he used to, but there's no way this guy is, is stupid and, and cognitive. Oh, he rides a no bike. Way. He's in excellent shape. And then right. they show a picture of Trump with his belly hanging over in a golf cart. Exactly. And and by the way, uh, in the charts, Biden's is uh, not perfect. He has a, has some pressures, but the kind of pressures you expect for his job and for being in a in a race. It's not even close to the ab unbelievable storm that Trump is in. Not even close. And my feeling is that even if Trump doesn't make it for some reason, and that's possible because he's got some pretty serious health challenges and we also don't know what's going to happen here with being in court and everything who knows i mean this could go in different directions but no matter who they put there these guys have a big problem with their their topics because they have to explain the women's issues the gun issues and also the fact that things have gone pretty well since biden has been there well I mean, the fact that so, they're they're sitting on that women's issue there was somebody yeah. in some house that wasn't uh national it was in a state i don't know which state talking about controlling women's birth control too and oh, everybody's yeah. trying to tell them to shut up because there you go there's a no vote for the republicans it's crazy why are they so dead set 
sense of get, I get about stopping women having rights. It's weird. You know, this is the problem that now their party is, is their base is either a whole bunch of people that are the least educated and the most likely to be really ignorant and not understand anything. And then people that are either racist or got or have intense religious views that are completely out of step. You can't in 2023 tell a woman what to do. This is crazy. What are you doing? And right. by the way, it's in the astrology post 2005. This is where it's going. You going the other way is going to mean you'll fail, right? It's that right. simple. So who do you, if you put in there, uh, I don't know, put, imagine someone really normal, like even imagine if Romney had been the nominee, which is impossible, I know, but say it was, he would still have to defend these crazy ideas about abortion. Right? And then what? You know, then you have a problem because women will vote against you. Right. So listen, we have some major stuff coming up with the, uh, I don't think they're going to come through with any kind of game plan for the United States. I think we'll go into a shutdown. Oh, the, the, uh, the, yeah, th that is, I would say it's uh, quite possible just looking at McCarthy's chart. It's just that when I look at McCarthy and MTG, and even Matt Gates, none of them are happy with it. So then what does that mean? I don't know. It, you know, this always happens, though. Every time they close down the government, it, it plays against them. It uh, plays against them. Big Trump time. did it. So did, they did before in 2013. You know, it doesn't work because what do you do? They shut the government down. People don't get their services and nothing is accomplished anyway. There's no way Biden is going to give in just because they shut the government down. No. You'll just They'll wait try to blame Biden now. Yeah, they, but then he'll say, I, I didn't shut it down. Did you can you always get open a, it. A look see at McCarthy at all? Is he going to be voted out? or? There's a, a McCarthy has to get to about February. He's in intense danger up to February. But if he gets it to February and then you go into 24, then he's got other problems around the almost certain outcome that is going to be that you'll lose the house. So that's a separate thing. But he may not get to February because, yeah, it's dicey right now. But then I look at MTG and Matt Gates; it's not good either. So where's the upside here? Who wins? I don't know. I don't know. Do you, did you happen to look at uh, 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 fake booby Bobert? No, I haven't looked at her. I was too busy looking at the video and, you know, I forgot to look. <laughs> anyway, I know that there's no, uh, there's no time for her, though. There's no... <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know what shocked anyway. you the most was her vaping in the theater. It just was like, is she really vaping? Yeah, no, it's, I'm it's, sure it's, the, it was just so funny. It really was hysterical. You know, and the thing is that these, uh, these Republicans in this era, you know, apparently she pulled the card where she said, well, do you know who I am? And, you know, you got to realize more than half the country hates you. So you saying you're Lauren Boebert, might just get you out of the cinema even faster. They might say, oh, get and the you know, out of here. Colorado, I can't, she barely won as it was. And I'm yeah. sure Colorado's down with her. Yeah, I, I mean, even without looking at the chart, my sense is that she goes down in the next election. I don't think she gets elected oh, again. Sure. I've, I've often felt that. But, no. you know, here's a, she's a grandmother now, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that you ask yourself, right? That's the other thing, by the way. As a young woman... She was pregnant at 15, which is why she's a grandmother now at 36, because I guess her daughter's pregnant too. But she was then dependent on government services. And now she speaks against these government services. Nice, right? So in other words, for everybody else, no, but for you, that's Family okay. Value. This is classic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, classic hypocrisy. I mean, you, you had to respect the fact that the government saved you when you were in, in great need, right? Oh, but no, no that doesn't don't. matter to them. Yeah. This is a bit like uh, Paul Ryan to that ex- house leader, you know, he comes from a background uh, where I believe, I could be mistaken about this, but I believe he he basically grew into this idea that now you have to limit everybody else. So you take what you, you can, but then let everybody else figure it out for themselves, which is a very Republican right. thing, you know. So if you took a look see at perhaps the government shutting down, was there anything else? I think they're going to shut it down. That's my hit. Yeah, it's just that uh, I, I don't think it'll work. I don't see it for long, yeah. No, like it, it, in other words, it's, it's another, it, to me, all of this is happening in the political analysis is because, because McCarthy has to do it. Even he may, he may think, well, it's not what I want to do, but he has to do things like this, or he has to start an impeachment inquiry 
with no evidence. I mean, once again, where's the evidence? They don't have any evidence. No, no. By the way, uh, speaking of that, well, not that exactly, but Hunter Biden, which is oh, really yeah. the Thank focus. You. Thank you. I was going to bring so, that up next. Yeah. So Hunter Biden, his time was not known until recently. All of a sudden, I, I went to look in the database again, and someone who uh, they got out of his laptop. They, in his laptop, there was a, a record of his birth time. So it's to the minute. So you can see the pressure he's under. There are some things happening which could take it into, I'm thinking at most the middle of next year because he's in the middle of Aquarius and that's when Jupiter is going to really hone in and basically, you know, end it if it doesn't happen even sooner. So even with the pressures that are there, I think it's a nothing burger, but it's very useful for the Republican Party because they can pretend that it's a big deal, you know, uh, but it's a gun charge. I mean, it's silly because they're, they're always trying These to. These are the ones that are pro-guns. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You can have some kid go out and shoot and kill people at a, a gathering. But Hunter Biden getting a gun while he was on drugs? How dare you? Well, by the way, he was on drugs. You have to prove that. That's true. You know? In court, if you say you were on drugs, he could say, well, no, I wasn't then. Not at that time, yeah. I, you just say, all, all he has to say is, I took a month off. Now, maybe that's... I think he should ma make a trial. I think he would win. Probably, yeah, yeah. And and I, I, I hear different things around this where some pundits think he should just plead guilty because he'll get a, uh, you know, a, almost nothing. But then others say, no, his lawyers are going to challenge it. because, because, by the way, they had already agreed. Yes, that's what they're so, going to bring up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing is he's suing the guy that took his computer and going to be able to prove that he manipulated the computer, him and Bannon and those other people. They yeah, put crap yeah. in there and laughed about it, thought it was funny. No, it's a, it, the problem is but that... It worries Biden, i got to tell you that. Yeah, no, I, I think so. so fearful. His son may just turn around and say, F it, and start doing drugs again and stuff. He's so worried. Well, I, I don't know if you'll do that, though, because I looking at his chart, I think what happened to Hunter Biden, the the source of his um, drug use is not um, it's not like an escapist uh, loserville type of thing where a person is so traumatized or something has happened that puts them in permanent escape mode. His problem is that he he got into it from too much ambition. And I think that's why his go-to drugs were the, the stimulant things. He was doing. He wasn't doing heroin, I believe. I think it was more things like crack and cocaine. Right. That's to get all. That's why you know if if you want to go into politics and that, those are drugs that give you the big ego, so you can go into the meetings yeah. and be more of and yourself. I believe he called his dad and showed off that Biden was his dad, but his dad right. was just walking on eggshells for his son. Yeah, yeah. He would talk. They would talk about the weather, like they, they, you know, that person that they tried to bring in to damage him and they asked the guy well did, did, did joe say anything no he just said nice day isn't it <laughs> well <laughs> when his son calls he listens because he's god damn it he's lost a wife and a daughter and a son this is his child with the, the wife that's deceased he will move heaven and earth to to do what he can do to help his son because everybody's like and he takes him to these events yeah he wants his son close to him. He realizes his son kind of likes that energy, you know, that ego energy. But yeah, no, and, and and that's what a father, that's normal for a father to do. And by the way, Biden, uh, based on what I know of his chart, I don't think he's that worried or that upset at the moment about his son or anything else. No. There's not, nothing there to tell me that he goes to sleep at night wondering what's going to happen to his son. I think do you he, think that wise guy did this because he was under so much pressure? Yes, I think it's the same logic as when um, when uh, they ran Benghazi with zero evidence and after spending all kinds of money, they stopped. And by the way, they had a guy in there. Remember Trey Gowdy? He showed up in the he showed up in the forensic files. He's actually a real prosecutor with a real brain. But there he was, you know, carrying water for these idiots because they know that like McCarthy had admitted, if you just flood the zone with garbage, then people's approval rating drops, which is what happened to Hillary. But that's where Democrats have to be smart, stay together and just vote. You know? And Show you know, can I say Hillary was a woman, a lot of men didn't like she was smart. 
Yeah, yeah, she continues to be. She's still out there. Hillary, it's, 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 it's such an unfortunate Boy, thing. She, she's a Scorpio, let me tell you. Did she know what time of day it was with Trump? She knew exactly. Oh, exactly, yeah, exactly. She predicted it to a T, I know. So um, will Social Security be released on time or will there be a delay due to the government lockdown? Oh, this is from my friend David. Um, no. I, 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 see, not. I see Social no. Security still going. The last lockdown, Social Security kept going. Yeah, you know what I think is that part of what's going on here is that if they had shut down the government in August because they couldn't because they were away, but if they had, then they would be in the retrograde cycles and that could be a delay. The, by the time they shut it down now, the planets are mostly all direct. No, unlikely that there would okay. be a, a delay. Yeah. Um, Somebody, this is a good question. Knees said, so many celebrity breakups with Venus in retrograde. Mm -hmm. What are Andre's thoughts? Well, remember, we I think we said this in a previous talk. Venus, Venus is um, the cycles of Venus. It, Venus is the, among a number of things. It's the love planet, love and relationship. And this is, this I learned from this astrologer, uh, Nick Best, who's done a lot of work on, on uh, Venus. And I always test these things on my own chart first to see if I notice anything. And yeah, I have to admit, I was taken aback. You know, I had one of those things where, how did I miss this? Because <laughs> it's so obvious. So you get these eight year periods of Venus. And so when it's retrograde, it's especially amplified, particularly if you were born with Venus retrograde. But even if not, like as an example, this cycle, this right now of Venus retrograde that happened in August, parts of July, September, it's exactly where it was when Trump went down the escalator. So it's eight years later, and that's why he's running. One of the many reasons he's running into a brick wall because it's the consequence of that. And this is why you'll notice many relationships on average end at eight years. I had one of those myself. Oh Look yes, that's, that's mark. the truth too, Boom. yeah. Yeah, because Venus, it's one cycle. Then you hope to get to 16 to 24, but th those numbers show up again. 16, 17 is a lot of marriages break up and then 24 because that's the Venus point. Now, sometimes it'll be a year or two later and if you probe, you find out that the real breakdown was before or whatever. But the point is Venus, when it's retrograde, uh, it can uh, correlate with some of those things. And furthermore, the other thing is that notice all these strikes because we're still in the zone. Venus isn't really fully out of retrograde till next month. There's a shadow period on both sides. So it's completely out in October. I'm thinking that in the first week of October or so, or second week, I don't know what you feel about this, but these strikes may start to finally pass, you know? And, yeah, I can feel the Connectors yeah. Guild. And, yeah. And this uh, UAW too, I feel like that's going to be resolved. It might be by the end of October. Yeah, well, the, at the beginning of October, Venus finally leaves the shadow. And so they're also the writers when I strike, like when Venus is, is retrograde, the the population pushes back and rebels. They, they go against the consensus. This is what happened in 2020 with George Floyd, why the people hit the streets, right? Venus was retrograde around that point as well. Okay. So there are all these things. I mean, the problem is that when all is said and done, if you want to know what it's doing in your chart, you got to do your chart. Sorry. I mean, I'm not trying to make, I know. I know. I'm trying to create business for myself. I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> it's just what it is, you know? So let me ask you, does, what does Andre think? This is from Hillside. What does Andre think what could happen on October 10th when transit Pluto goes direct on top of the USA chart? Well, it's more that it's not just October 10th. Between the end of September and mid-October, the whole time Pluto is stationed because October 10th is precisely stationed. It's like it doesn't move. But on both sides of that, it's moving very slowly. So that's where the government shutdown is most likely in there because Pluto opposing the government sign you know, you get a dark period where there's a lot of intense energies. Pluto is is very, very mafia. It has a mafia feeling to it. So okay. you get a lot of dark energy. So th that's why, but it doesn't necessarily mean exactly on October 10th. It can be in that range, right? But that's that's what I anticipate, one of the things I anticipate. There could be others, like maybe a, another world situation that is particularly dark, because those stations are tough, you know? They, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, Molly wants to know, what are the chances that Trump will actually be slapped with a gag order uh, from Jack Smith's new filing? You said. 
I, I go with you on this one, right? Okay. Yeah. But did I, you look at Jack's chart at all or no? Well, Jack, Jack's chart, Jack's chart is doing fine. So whether he gets the gag order or not, uh, it's going to turn out fine. But my suspicion is that if I look at the energy in Jack's chart and the fact that he gets almost all wins pretty much or almost all positive results and the fact that Trump's is so hampered, my guess is that he's going to get a gag order and probably more. Maybe the judge will speed up the trial, possibly, right? To, yeah. Because yeah. She, had, she had threatened to do that. If, but if, I see big chart like money too, or hitting him up with, and then if it happens again, he gets, you know, a million dollar chart. I don't know. Well, by the way, that's the other thing. Um, Jack Smith's chart, even without a time, I can tell from there's a cluster of planets in Virgo. That's Trump's money house. I am nearly sure this guy is going to go after him for his money as well. Not just Letitia. He's going to, that thing that he's been looking into where he committed About fraud. Where he by got raising money, a lot of money on the basis of a fraud. Exactly. I think that's going to come down too. I don't think he's going to escape. Maybe it comes down before the election or maybe after the election, but Trump's not getting away with that one based on Jack Smith, you know, being there. Yeah. I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah. You know what? And Jack Smith is pissed because they threatened him and his family. He had to sell his house and move. And, you know, look at Mitt Romney. Jesus, he has to pay for security because, you know, can I tell you something? Not that I'm predicting this is going to happen. But I thought even during the January 6th riots, had they harmed the hair on I had a, a member of the Congress or whoever, if they had actually killed somebody or maimed them in some sort of way, that would have ruined Trump forever. Yes, yes. But then that, that makes him in a way lucky, right? Mm -hmm. That's true. But then all these people that keep telling me, oh, this guy's so lucky. What do you mean he's lucky? Look at the things that have happened to him that are unlucky. Like, for instance, COVID happened, right? Yeah. That's unlucky. That was a way of taking him down. And then he could have won. In the end, the Electoral College, he might have made it through. That's not very lucky either. So, you know, it's not all luck. I mean, it's a mix. You know, of, right, of things, exactly. So, yeah. Um, By the way, Romney, with his chart, because he's leaving, right? And yeah. his thing is really interesting. He, next year, Jupiter crosses his ascendant, and that's a, a really great time for a person. But in his case, I think he'll be free of the Senate, and he'll be free. He won't have to work. You know, apparently, he lives in uh, D.C. He can't even be with his wife because he's got to be in, in D.C., and he's, he's in a bachelor apartment all by himself because he doesn't have any friends. <laughs> Because there aren't any. Who's he going to be friends with in the Republican right. Party? You know? And you know he's Mormon. They're all about family. And his yeah, wife so. has some sort of long-term chronic disease. So mm, I'm sure so. he wants to be with her. Yeah. Well, that's the thing that by starting next year, his life changes because that's a major cycle when it goes to the ascendant. Now, if he had been running, you know, for for something important, that would be a good cycle to be in because that helps you to get elected. It's still not fail safe, though. It's not fail safe. Yeah, no, because, it sounds like he's done. You know, because, you know, that aspect, he had that aspect in um, back in 2012 when he ran against Obama, but he had other planets that were were too complicated, and that's why he lost. So it's not a perfect thing, but it's at least, it put it this way, it puts you in the limelight, right? Uh, okay. Having Jupiter on the ascendant, yeah. So I don't know if you can answer. This is my last question from Linda. I, I picked her because she has a high class name. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for considering my question. Is a societal shift in thinking likely to occur in the U.S., whereby more people focus less on chaos and fear, thus turning away from the crazy magma mentality? Yes, but not right away. Yeah, uh, I felt it while. several years away. It's 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 a still a years away because the cycles that are changing, they're going to start to change in a really serious way in 25, 26, 27, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and Pluto, all of them, right? It, which basically takes all the outer planets, moves them in a different place. And my sense is, even though there are astrologers that are really pessimistic, oh my God, this whole thing, I'm not buying that because the, the situation is moving toward democracy toward the people toward more people having more rights and more more uh, benefits not the opposite that's what Aquarius does Pluto goes into Aquarius now out of Capricorn Capricorn is the government planet 
it, or government sign. That's why you get fascistic, crazy impulses like that. We're not that far away from Pluto leaving. And then Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, same, they're switching signs. But they are still in this tricky place, which is where they were in the Civil War in the 1860s and in the Second World War, Uranus was there too. And that obviously is not a good good zone, right? right. Because look at all the, the division. Right now, the division is similar to the Civil War. It's the same kind of thing. It's like where it's the North and South fighting about who should get rights and all this kind of thing. And that takes a while because those planets move really slowly. So you have to wait that till they move. I would say toward the end of the decade, I would say be pessimistic and expect at least two more election cycles, like uh, the 24 cycle and the midterms, at least. Maybe we're free of it by 28, but maybe, you know. Yes, at least know. a lot of these people, they're just sticking to their guns. They hate and they love to hate. Yeah, they, but you know, there's no, the best tonic is to lose. We just got to beat them. Is that's that what I'm talking about. Listen, my, I, uh, Dan had worked on my uh, one of my shows and said, oh, you had a bad Trumpster on there that was said, we're going to own you libtards. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come sure. 24. And I said, did you say, oh, like you did in 2020? <laughs> I, know. I know. You're going to own us. I know. I know. But I don't care what they're saying, you guys, in the polls. I just don't feel it. But maybe psychically. I can't go there. I don't know, but I'm going to guarantee you, I'm pretty much sure that he's not going to win. No, and, and the thing is, see, the, the one thing is, don't be fooled the way we're, in a way we, I, I fell for a little bit too, I'll admit it, right? When in 2021, the insurrection happens, then I hear McCarthy, McConnell, you know, thumbs down on Trump. I didn't realize that a week later they were going to change their minds. And right? McCarthy was going to Mar a Lago. Exactly. So they've kept it going. So don't assume that the 24 election solves the problem. It'll still, in fact, I think that's why the planets are tense the way they are. It's because they lose and they're not happy and they continue to make they continue noise. continue with the, the, the stories? Well, the stories and possibly even some violence. I mean, expect some problems because the the planets are in a rough place. But if Democrats lose, they don't usually do that. They go on the street and they demonstrate and they make noise, but they don't start threatening to shoot everybody. That's no. a that's a, a Republican thing. A Republican and thing. So I expect the mid part of the decade to be dicey like that. But that you know, can I tell you something? And and you get what I'm saying. They were showing this video of these guys these Trumpsters all in, in, in military gear and AKs and run, running behind these cans and then shooting and running to another can and like they're practicing. I thought, dude, that's not going to stop a tank. <laughs> no, because Who are you, you fighting? What are you doing? No, you can't. I mean, this is the thing. The, the, think about it. I mean, the most likely thing, if you do something horrible, by the way, that's what's happened. As much as we can say horrible things have happened, school shootings, the guy that went and killed uh, Jewish people at a, at a synagogue, they're oh, all in yeah. jail for life. Some of them got the death penalty. That's what happens. If you how need... about the guy? How about the guy that blew up the Oklahoma? Yeah, they're of course. Dead now they both got the chair. Yeah, well, but that was that was a, with Bill Clinton in power. That was a Democratic a president under Trump. A lot of crimes were committed. All those people are in the slammer. The guy that, uh, and some are, some got the death penalty. The the thing with George Floyd, the thing that happened in Georgia with Arbery, all of these things are the law moving in on you. So I, wh what's your other plan? Are you going to send an army or whatever it is to attack the Capitol? Good luck with that. I mean, you, you're going to be fighting the U.S. Army. It's not a good plan, in my opinion. What exactly and, uh, would you do? Trump you know? was, I didn't watch the show, but apparently he was telling whoever was going to talk to him on Meet the Press that it was Nancy Pelosi that stopped the uh, the guard from coming in. He'll he'll say anything. I mean, the, the, you know, you know, there's a movie out there called. It's a really good movie, actually. It's called She Says or She Said, and it's about the woman that talked about Harvey Weinstein. So that's the you know because she she finally said, well, I think the movie that should be made about Trump or the series should be He Said because that's all it is. He just says he says and he says and he says, all of it is BS. All of it. He just tells you, in a way, the upside-down reality. If he's telling you, it probably isn't true, right? It's that simple. So, oh, when he went and got arrested the first time, he said all the guards were crying. Oh, yeah, for sure. Him, Sir, 
we are so sorry this is happening to you. And he's just up there lying as big as day. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes people cry when they laugh, right? <laughs> <laughs> really, really deep laughter. Well, you can't help yourself. thank you so much. So we'll be on next week. We might have some stuff to talk about because we'll see if uh, that judge gets hits Trump. And yeah, we're You're kind right of though. You just now when you said that that when Biden wins, uh, if you're gonna we're gonna get some upset people. I just felt that. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the thing, and that that's the that's where, you know, let's not be fooled like last time where we thought, okay, the, the problem is over. No, I mean, well, I saw him sitting in the White House with his arms crossed and I saw and I even saw the meetings at an oak table with high uh, Pentagon officials talking about making sure that Trump did not have the button, the nuclear button hmm. to make sure they were all worried about him before this, the, the vote came in. And then I saw them telling him, sir, even the Secret Service. Sir, you lost. And if you don't live, leave, we will have to remove you manually and or forcefully. And that's the thing that made him. He didn't want to look stupid. And he reluctantly said he would go. Minus the minus. Plus, he locked the front door of the White House so him so Jill and, and Biden couldn't get in right away. And, you know, didn't help them in their transition in there. I would have been scrubbing that place and disinfecting it yeah the bleach the bleach that he oh, the, the bleach God, that he was suggesting old toilets bleach. and melted them down and i know it's the bleach that he the bleach that he told us to drink to fix covid you should use that to clean the white house instead so by the way is it true that uh is it true that sterling uh at some point said that he saw trump uh, escaping to a foreign country. Yeah, and Sterling appeals. does that. And there's no more than Sterling. There's a couple of people. I can't tell you, but I do see an exit with him, either physically or maybe when he loses and he knows he's in huge trouble. I could see him packing up and, and sneaking out. Yeah, maybe he goes to, to uh, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> but that would really upset his people, too. Yeah, well, I mean, at a certain point, though. You know, this is like, I mean, the guy's such a hypocrite. He spent all that time saying people who plead the fifth, you know, when he was trying to implicate Hillary and he pled the fifth on everything. They all plead the fifth. So he would just say, no, no, I have to plead the fifth because they're all out to get me and whatever. So, you know, yeah. Well, thank you, Andre. So we'll get together next week. All right. It was a thank pleasure. Thank you guys for joining. Bye, Bye. everyone.